Okay, switching gears a little bit here, let's talk about en route flight. Now, with as much experience as you have, do you flight plan based on pilotage, dead reckoning, nav aids, or kind of a combination of all? Well, I guess it depends on the weather conditions and where I'm going and, and the mission at hand. But my favorite kind of navigation, frankly, is to connect the endpoints of my flight with a yardstick. I'm going from A to B, and I draw a long line. I like to go direct. I like to go straight. But then what I do is I modify that line with A. Are there any obstacles or obstructions in the way? Are there any reasons why I shouldn't fly that direct path? And also, of course, you have to check NOTAMs, make sure there are no temporary flight restrictions or other kinds of restricted airspace that would uh, inhibit you or prevent you from going direct. But if there's nothing in the way, I love to go direct. I like to take off on a heading and do what Lindbergh did, shut everything off, fly a compass heading, and see how close I can get to my destination without turning on a single radio. I mean, I think anybody can fly from A to B these days using GPS, and dead reckoning navigation are becoming lost arts, which is why I love to continue to practice both. I think it's terribly important that pilots remain familiar with their navigational charts, sectional charts. I love to fly along and pinpoint my position using my fingers on the chart and keeping track of exactly where I am. Not only do you remain proficient at that kind of very basic navigation in case the electrical system fails and mm. you can't use GPS, but it also provides a great deal of satisfaction that you can fly the basic way. I, I suppose if one can say if man were intended to navigate, he would do it with his eyes, and I prefer doing it that way. I love to fly topographically.